What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, today we're doing another box opening. This time we are opening a Steam Siege, Steam Sage, Steam Siege uh, box. Uh, got my hands on an early one, which is pretty nice. And on the back of the Steam Siege, Steam Sage box, Steam Siege, I still don't know what it is. Uh, but long years of stability come to an end when shiny Mega Gardevoir EX lays siege to the mighty Gear Palace with the host of greedy forces. The mythical steam Pokemon Volcanion must wield the dual powers of fire and water to stop them. As the battle rages, Xerneas Break and Evitol Break face off in the Pokemon TCG Steam Siege uh, Steam Sage expansion. Uh, so obviously you can already tell there's going to be dual types in here. If you haven't seen this set at all, there's finally dual types are back in the game, which is really nice. And let's tear off this plastic. Come on now. All right, there we go. Uh, sorry, my table does wobble. It's not... Not the most stable ones, but on the box we have a Volcanion right there. We got a uh, Nematol Break, Volcanion on this side, and a Xerneas Break on this side. And on top we have the Gardevoir. So all the Pokemon they're talking about are on the box, which is really cool. Uh, let's prop this thing up and let's see here. All right. So oh, wait for it. There we go. So this is the box. This is what it looks like. Uh, as you see, we got a Gardevoir and Volcanion start off, and I think there's 36 packs. We're gonna try to go with this. Uh, kind of quick, but not too quick, and we're not going to read the cards too much. I'm going to make a set review about this set and uh, talk about it. Set review about this set. But here we go, trying to open the first one as of right now. Uh, set the code cards aside over here. One, two, three, one, two. I know how to do these for sure. I know when they do the, uh, <clears throat> what is the generation packs, I don't know what it is. But here we go, guys. All right, so Litwick. Hoppin, shout out to Jay Witz, his favorite, uh, he always talks about Hoppin in his videos. Meowth, Chimchar, a Nose Pass, and here we're talking about the dual types, which is really nice. Is Missy can it focus on here? Come on, camera, focus for me. I mean, you see, it's a Fairy and a Water type has the attack play rough. Uh, if a coin if has attacks, it's 30 more damage. Bubble Drain 80 does uh, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, so it can hit for Water and Fairy type, so it can hit for Weakness, which is really nice. Uh, so it's really cool to see this finally. There we go. Did focus. There we go. All right, so there we go. There it is. Um, there you go. There's a first dual type, Glutchlinder, a Skiploom, a Reverse Nidoran Male, and a Weavile. It's often you like during the turn before you attack, you may put a Pokemon Tool Card attached to one of your Pokemon into your hand and slash for 40. So you can kind of reuse your Tool Cards if you want to with the uh, with the Weavile if needed. So put that right there. Put Reverse right there. And uh, let's keep on going. We'll try to make a stack. We'll try to make this look pretty. And here's the Xerneas Break Pack. It'd be cool to get a Xerneas Break. I am glad to make this Xerneas Neems all more popular, I guess, in this is correct thing to say. I don't know. Uh, but let's open it up, okay? So the code card side right here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. Uh, let me put them out more out of the way. There we go. All right. And let's see, what do we got this time around? All right. So there's a Krogop, Mareep, Litwick, Hoppit, Meowth. Tangrowth, man. This Tangrowth with a Prelude is pretty dirty. Like, Leaf Storm 80, heal 40 from each of your Grass Pokemon, which is really nice. And Flog for 110, Flip a Coin of Heads, stack does 30, more damage. Hall Lucha, which is a pretty good card as well. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may have your opponent switch his or act Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon and Acrobatics 20. It's good for Prelude because you have an Escape Room kind of option, or maybe like a somewhat catcher target, uh, which is pretty cool. A Lampet, but not a Night Martian Lampet, don't worry. A reverse capitating, capitating Pokepluff and a Samurott. All right, so let's put our that guy right there and this guy right here, and let's move on to the next one. Uh, capitating Pokepluff is Pokepluff is pretty cool. It says, look at your opponent's hand, choose as many basic Pokemon you want there, and put it onto your opponent's bench. So that way, you can, if your opponent has like a shaman in their hand, you can put it down automatically and make it where they can't play it, which is pretty neat to kind of counter that if needed. Um, Outside of that, it's going to be interesting to see if it does have an effect in the game or not. But here we go. One, two, three. We'll put this around. And let's see if we got this. All right. So we got an, an Oshawott, a Rufflet, a Tangla, Krogant, a Mareep, a Hawlucha again, Lampet, a regular Captivating Book Plus, a reverse Avala Crunch 30, Pump Point of Essence card, you attach your opponent's act Pokemon, and Melting below discard the top three cards of your deck for each water g card you discard in this way discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck okay it's pretty cool and a xerneas with geomancy and rainbow spirit it is a hollow as you see there it is a hollow xerneas so another reprint of xerneas 
but still, I love the Xerneas. And obviously, from the from the box, you can tell the reprint Evitaw as well. Uh, so it's cool to see Xerneas and Evitaw making a appearance again. Sadly, the EXs aren't in this set, but they did make them a tens. Uh, so that's pretty cool. If you still like the if you like the EXs, they are still out and they're still playable, which is pretty cool. If you're a big fan of Xerneas and Evitaw, so let's do three two and let's try again. Still no EXs so far, uh, but here is a Ponyta. Ponyard, Oshawott, Rufflet, Tangela, uh, Monfarno, uh, Shieldon, Sheldon, Ambipon, a reverse Jolton, but don't worry, once again, it's not a Night Marcher, uh, and a Needle King. All right, shout out to Kevin Baxter, my, my, uh, his favorite Pokemon. He actually went 3-0 out of pre-release, so I went 1-2 out of pre-release with my Needle King deck. So he did a little bit better than me, but still... It was pre pretty fun to play Nidoking, King, especially with Power Lyric. It does 60 and 30 damage each evolution on your bench. Uh, it has some kind of attack or ability that deals with Nidoking. Queen. Sally did not pull any Nidoking, Queen, so I didn't really, I wasn't able to use it at all. Uh, but let's see, 3-2. Put it like this, and let's go to this guy. Alright, so another Jolting, but once again, no Night Marcher. Uh, Mantine. Clink. Ponyta. Ponyard. Sheldon. Ambipon. Tangrowth, a Reverse Hydreigon, all right, and a Cabalion, all right. So let's see what this Cabalion does real quick, just in case if it is used on metal. Uh, quick Guard, prevent all damage done to Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Make it, EXs can't really hurt it. This Pokemon can't use Quick Guard during your next turn. Revenge Blast 30, this attack does 30 more damage to each prize card the opponent has taken. It's kind of like Revenge Blast Shaman, we've seen this kind of attack before. Uh, the first attack is pretty cool. The Quick Guard, making it where basic Pokemon can't hurt you, which is pretty nice. Is Hydreigon good? Uh, let's see, Cruel Fang 40, during your opponent's next turn, 80 damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 40. And Dark Burn 50. Discard as many Dark Energy attached to your Pokemon as you like. This tag does 50 damage times the amount of energy Dark uh, amount of Dark Energy discarded. So you have to discard four to do 200, which could knock out any EX. And then in expanded, you have like Dark Patch to reuse it. Uh, you also have Evitol, uh, Baby Evitol to Oblivion Wing to put energies from your discard pile back onto your field if needed. All right. So open up another pack. Set the code card right over here. One, two, three, one, two, and let's see. All right, we're still hoping to pull something really good. Okay, so let's see. So Fungus. All right, so Fungus has this ability, uh, play ball. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may start, you may put three Pokeball cards from your discard pile into your hand. Now, some people at first thought this was like going to be for Ultra Balls, for Great Balls, whatever. Uh, but sadly, this is just for Pokeballs. Pokemon did come out and say it's just for Pokeballs, uh, sadly. All right, so Fungus, a Ber Bergmite, Joltik, Mantine, Clink, Rapidash, Persian, uh, Greedy Dice, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a gimmick card. Flip a coin of heads, take one more price card. But you can only play this card only if you took it as a face down price card before you put it into your hand. So if you pull this off your price card, you flip a coin of heads, you take one more. So not only do you have to hit it off your price card, you have to flip a coin to draw another one. So man, that's pretty bad. All right. So Yanma and a Pyro. All right. So we got a Pyro. It's, uh, it's not the, a good Pyro, I don't think. Flame Charge, 60. Search the deck for a Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. And incinerate 90. Before I do damage, discard all tools. Tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, too bad it's not the Safeguard one. Very upsetting. Uh, that'd be cool if they re did reprint that. Uh, it's not the, the Safeguard one's not as good anymore. Or not Safeguard. I forget what it's called. Uh, but it's not as good as it used to be. Especially now since like Hex Maniacs in this game. You kind of just counter, counter that if needed. Or Lish, open up the one. Maybe we've almost been halfway through. We still haven't seen anybody yet. What is going on here? All right, so put three and two. Let's see what happens. There's a Dino, a Shellos, Mankey, Fungus, Ber Bergmite, Persian, Greedy Dice, Monferno, a Reverse Fletching, and another Dual Type, which is Shifter with the Dark and the Grass. So another Hollow. Pretty nice. Wicked Wind 40. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon tool, uh, each Pokemon tool card to play has no effect. Extensory, 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 uh, 60. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, it's like a 60 more damage. It's cool as you see. Uh, you kind of see the text how it goes from black to white, which is pretty neat. Uh, that's pretty cool how they did that. It's pretty nice. So another Hollow. We'll put that right there. All right. So I'll put these to the side and let's open up another one. All right, so we're just still trying to hit something. 
Give me an EX. Uh, Flourish Sycamore would be really nice. I know that's in the set as well. Uh, too bad there's no Karen. I know a lot of people are like, Karen's in the set. It's going to be in the set. And I was like, nah, Karen's not going to be in the set. It's not even out Japan yet. Uh, so here's Apom. There's Larvesta. Dino. Shellos. Mankey. Uh, Pokemon Ranger. This is a this is probably my favorite card of the set. Remove all effects of attacks of, on each player's and his or her bet Pokemon. Uh, which means you can get rid of like uh, Tyson's like Quaking Punch. You can get rid of Jolteon's uh, attack, making it where basic Pokemon can hurt, can hurt him. It's gonna be really interesting to see how Pokemon Ranger plays into the game, and it's probably gonna be one of the most played cards from the set, just because you can shut down all effects of attacks, which is pretty nice. All right. Uh, Anorath. What the heck? That's a Pokemon. What is this card? That doesn't look like, that does not look like Pokemon. Uh, X is a 20 flip point of heads attack does 20 more damage. All right. Uh, Ninja Boy. Okay, another good card from the set. Like I'm more impressed of this trainer cards and supporter cards of the Pokemon in the set. Choose one of your base Pokemon to play. Search your deck for a base Pokemon and switch it with this, uh, with that Pokemon. And you have to any cards, any attached cards, damage counter, special conditions, turn in play, and any other effects remain on the new Pokemon. Shuffle your first, shuffle the first Pokemon into your deck. So basically, you swap out Pokemon. If you, let's say you have uh, an Apom, right? You have an Apom. You sit out there. You get in Ninja Boy into a Xerneas. And now that the Xerneas has been out of turn, and if you have a Xerneas break, you can put the break down. Because technically, this Apom has been out of turn, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'll explain more about it in my videos later on for sure. Uh, but it's definitely a very, very interesting card. I do like this a lot. It's going to be interesting to see how it works. It's not so great right now, but once the format does slow down with uh, Nightmarch being taken out of the game, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good card, I promise. All right, so Ninja Boy. Oh, my goodness. So here's a break card I was just talking about. We have a I don't even know Power Break was in here. And a Arnaldo, which is that card we just talked about. It's Evolution. Uh, 40 and 100 during your opponent's next turn. Any damage done to Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 30. Or by, yeah, 30. But let's look at this Pyro Break. I didn't know there was a Pyro Break. I really haven't looked at the set yet, so I don't know what's in here. But it has Kaiser Tackle, 180. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. It only has two fires and it colors. Uh, but it is basically like a stage kind of two. Uh, but 180 with 160 HP, you can just Blacksmith attach an energy and you're good to go. So that's our first good card right there. Or our second good card. I guess our first one was a Xerneas in my eyes. So, Pyro Break being pulled. I wish it was an Evitol Break or a Xerneas Break, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you can definitely play that Pyro. It is definitely so playable. Doing 180 with the muscle, you can do 200, which is pretty cool as well. We'll put the uh, code card to the side. Let's do 3-2, and let's see what happens. All right. And here we go. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. So, Fletchling, uh, Marie, Drifloon, Apom, Larvesta. Anorath, another Ninja Boy, there we go, uh, Rapidash, a Reverse Lit Look, and oh my goodness, here's our first EX, and it's a full art, there we go, very, very nice, so Volcanian EX, we actually haven't really seen this Pokemon that much, I don't think it's even out in the game yet, uh, come on camera, focus, focus camera, it's your time to shine camera, let's try again, alright, so I'm going to read it to you, it says, so th the ability is what Volcanian is really good about, alright, so Vol Volcanian has the ability to steam up, once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a fire energy card from your hand. If you do uh, during this turn, you, your basic fire Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, you can do this for each Volcanian. Uh, if you have four, Volcan Vol four Volcanian out, you discard it. You can do up to 120 damage, uh, which is pretty nice. So you can beast up. You can power up your fire Pokemon, which is really nice. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. I don't think right now it's going to be that playable. There's, I mean, there's really... Not that many good fire Pokemon, I don't think, it, for this format right now. But for later on, I think it will be, especially with Nightwatch being rotated out. I think that's what's going to help us out a lot and play a lot of fun decks. Once Nightwatch is gone, I promise a lot more fun decks are going to be playable. Because right now, Nightwatch is so fast. It does so much damage so quickly. You can't play these fun cards. But with Volcano, you can be powered with, like, Flare on EX or something. Uh, maybe Entei to do more damage. And uh, Volcano Heat does 130. This Pokemon can attack during the next turn. But you can use, like, Switch or... Um, I don't know, Eva, not Zer Eva Tall, uh, Xerneas, not e Xerneas either, oh my goodness, Zorak stand in the retreat uh, to get rid of that thing if you need to. So here we go, our first EX is a full art Volcanian X, so finally, we got one, alright, I think we're almost halfway done with the first set of packs. So, let's open up another pack, let's see what's going to happen, uh, is there any more dual types? I'm not even sure how many are in this set, wait, Volcanian is one, Volcanian is a dual type, it's kind of hard to tell from this picture, but he's water and uh 
water and fire type. So you can hit for both weakness on this, but he is weak to water himself, oh, which is pretty interesting. It's interesting that he can hit for double weakness, but he doesn't take double. Uh, he doesn't get hit for. Or he doesn't have two uh, resistance or anything. I don't know. I mean, you know, he only has, he can hit for two weakness, but he doesn't have two weakness on himself. There we go. So, like, he's only, what, water? He only weak to water? If he's weak to grass and water, that would make kind of more sense because, you know, water is weak to grass. But he's only weak to one type, which is very interesting. All right, so let's, open, let's go to the next pack. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's go. All right, so Meryl, Yanma, uh, Fletching, Marie, Drifloon, Bravery, uh, Armor, Fossil, Sheldon, Nuzleaf, a reverse uh, claw fossil and wrath and a gastrodon. All right, so let's keep on going. Put those two cards to the side and let's see what happens in the next pack. All right, so hopefully, I don't know what to get. I'm just looking for whatever. Any EX is fine. Like I said, I really don't know what's in the set too much besides this Volcania. Everybody's been kind of talking about it, especially with Torchic. Uh, we're definitely going to make a video on Volcania Torchic. Uh, there's a Torchic that can take two prize cards or take one more extra prize card when you tackle with it. All right, I think that's what it does. I can't remember what it does, but it, it, that's what people are playing with, supposedly. Uh, but here's Nidoran, Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Yanma, uh, Sheldon Fossil, Nuzleaf, another Pokemon Ranger. There we go. Oh, Reverse Hoopa with Hypno, Hyperspace Punch. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, and Portal Strike 130. This Pokemon can use Portal Strike during your next turn, and a Bast... Bast Bastiodon for Counterhead. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon is damaged by an attack. Even that Pokemon is knocked out. Put damage counters on the attack Pokemon equal to the damage done to this Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. If somebody hits this guy for a ton of damage, you put you punch them by putting that same number back. And Fortress of Rage 100. This attack does 10 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Uh, that'd be interesting to see for sure. Maybe you can play an expanded like Reuniclus and move your damage cards off Bastion down to the bench and then do a ton of damage that way with Fortress of Rage. Uh, definitely going to be a make a video with that guy. Uh, with him and Bronzong or something. The only thing that's going to be hard to get out is the basic because he is a fossil Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Uh, so fossil Pokemon are kind of difficult to get out. But we'll see. Well, I'll definitely for sure try one video. Uh, but 3-2. Let's see what happens. So once again, hop it. Shout out to Jay Wits. Nosepass. Nidoran Mail, Lilio, Sneasel, Clang, uh, Anrath, Duat, a Reverse Claw Lyncher. Oh man, here we actually already pulled one of these. If you watched the previous video, we pulled a, a Steelix 4. So I guess we are having two full R Steelix DXs now. Wild Edge, you may do uh, 50 more damage. Or, so it does 80, sorry. It does 80. You may do 50 more damage if you do this Pokemon. does 30. No. 20 damage to yourself, sorry, and Iron Tail does 100. Flip a coin to get tells, uh, this attack does 100 damage times the number of heads. Sorry, so it's 100 times. So for each heads you flip, it does 100 damage. So with two, you do 200 damage. So another EX, and it's a four this time around. Uh, so it looks like we're not going to pull any regular EXs. I don't know. We still got a long way to go for sure. But right now we pull four, two forwards, one Volcanion, and one Steelix. All right. So, let's open up this guy. All right, all right, there we go. And set this go to the side. And let's do three and two. And let's see what's going to happen. All right, so we get a Shellios, Clauncher, Meow, Hoppet, Nosepass, uh, Anerith Fossil, Duat, Braviary, Reverse Talonflame. Now, this Talonflame has a cool ability. And this Pokemon is in your hand when you are setting it up to play. You may put it face down as your active Pokemon, which is an ability we've never seen before. Uh, so it's really cool. So if it's in your hand, in your opening hand, you can put it down as your active Pokemon. But you can also choose not to if you don't want to. You don't have to do it. And uh, Arrow Blitz 40, search deck for up to two cards, and put them into your hand, shuffle, shuffle your deck afterwards. So really cool attack as well. And a vo regular Volcanion. Okay, so set this aside. Uh, Volcanion is 100. Not that really good of a card. I mean, I guess you can power like Volcanian, Volcanian X. If you have four Volcanian X on the field, you can uh, discard four fire energies and make uh, what is called Steam Artillery do 180. And it'll muscle band 200. So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I guess it, that's the way how you play it if you want it to play. You can combine that with Volcanian X and do a ton of damage that way. All right. So, let's keep on going. Uh, there's a Chimchar, Rufflet, Jellos. Clauncher, Meowth, uh, Zuelios, Nidorino, 
And, okay, this is my other favorite card from the set as well. Special charge, shuffle two special cards from your discard pile into your deck. This means you can get back your DCs, your double dragon, whatever special energies you want. And it's an item card. It's not a special energy. Uh, so right now, this is going to help out Night March so much because now they can get back the energies without using Puzzle Time. A reverse Mantine and an Ampharos. Hey, shout out to Kevin Murphy. There you go, Kevin. Kevin, if you're watching this, there you go. Kevin, that's his favorite Pokemon. Once you're to turn before you attack, you put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon EX. So that's what Shock and Light does. And Gigabolt 80. Flip a coin if it has attacked us 40 more damage. If tells your opponent's act Pokemon is now is now paralyzed. There we go. Alright, so uh, Hollow, that's pretty cool. That'll work with that. Ampharos is pretty cool. And Pharos, Ampharos, Ampharos. Oh, actually, shout out to Timmy Montgomery. I know he's not watching this, but that's one of the guys who helps me get into Pokemon. And that was his favorite deck. We actually made him an Ampharos Prime deck at Nationals one year. It was really bad. Uh, but we made it work. And we're going to do three and two. And let's see what's going to happen. Alright, so we get a Krogot. We get a Tangla. Dino. Chimchar, oh, uh, Rufflet, Need a Rhino, oh, another special charge, there we go, a Clang, a Reverse Gallant, Galvantula, oh my goodness, there we go, our first, uh, nine, four is a Volcanian EX, it still has the same thing as before, uh, this one you can actually tell that it's a dual type, it does have that fire, water, split kind of combination with the Steam Up and the Volcanian Heat, so two Volcanian EXs, which definitely probably the best EX out of the set, uh, so we pulled two of them so far. There's one more in the set. I know that for sure. All right. So we pulled the gold one. This is definitely the box to get from Volcanian. If you like Volcanian, guess this is the box you're supposed to get. If I pull a gold one. Okay. This one, this pack is not one of the open. Wants to struggle with me. All right. There we go. I got it. I got it. I don't know if you heard that. Me struggling. It, I definitely was struggling for some reason. All right. So let's try this pack. Three and two. And let's see what's going to happen. All right. So there's a Meryl. Oshawott, Krogonk, Tangela, Dino, Flappy, a Steelix Spear Lake. So with the Steelix Spear Lake, you can tell that there is a Mega Steelix, but we haven't pulled one yet. Sheldon, Meowth, and another Talonflame. There we go. So another Talonflame coming down. I am going to make a deck with Talonflame. Don't worry. Maybe we'll just play like four Talonflame, nothing else. Maybe they're breaking something. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if we can make it work or not. Maybe with some uh, with some like Archies or Maxis or something. Just to make it interesting. Like Talonflame Glade or something with no basic Pokemon. Could be a really interesting concept. All right, so three or two. And let's see what happens. There's Joltik. Lampet. Or not Lampet. Lidwick, sorry. Uh, Ponytail. Meryl. Oshawott. Another Steel Experiment Link. A Sheldon, Zwellios, Reverse Clink, and an Amoongus. All right, so Amoongus, not that great of Pokemon. It was maybe okay in the pre-release, but right in, in standard play, it's not good. And here it is. All right, so we're finally halfway done with this. But don't worry, the other half is not going to take such a long time because I won't be explaining so many cards like I did the first time around. And once again, I am going to make a video talking about everything from Steam Stage that I like and uh, what I think is going to be playable at Before Worlds and After Worlds. There's definitely two different things to talk about in the, with the set. So there's a Bergmite, Fungus, Joltik, Litwick, Ponytaw, Lampet, a Klefki, Captivating Pokepuff, a Gardevoir Spirit Link, and a Primate. All right, so there we go. I'll uh, put these two discs to the side. So Gardevoir Spirit Link, I'm sad that it's the same artwork I have before. So obviously there's a Mega Gardevoir in the set. We have yet to see a Gardevoir or a Mega Gardevoir. Uh, but as you tell, there is going to be a Mega somewhere. If we do pull it or not, that is a big question. Uh, three and two. Let's start the party. One more time. We're halfway done with these packs. But like I said, this time around, it's not going to be such a long time. So CDOT, Drifling, Amp, Apom. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hold on. Calm down there. Apom, Mankey, Chelos. Oh, man. A car keeps popping out. Do what? Uh, another Azarel. Azamarel, sorry. Persian. A reverse Sneasel, and the card that keeps popping up is a Steelix EX. So right now we are pulling, we're pulling dual types. Like we're pulling both. We're pulling the, the Fort and the regular type. Uh, so we pull a Fort Steelix, a regular Steelix, a full Art Volcanian, and a Volcanian and a regular Volcanian. Uh, so right now we're two for two, all the same guys. Uh, I mean I'm still I don't complain. Whatever. Uh, I do hope we get some of the other EX, uh, like Magarian, Maganian, whatever it's called. I would do want to show that off just a little bit. But there's an Oshawott, Sneasel, Dot, Drifloon, Apom, 
another special charge that makes three. A Sheldon, a Fletchlander, a Reverse Marie, and another Talonflame. So two, three Talonflames and three special charges, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we can get the Talonflame break and show that off just a little bit. I can't remember if the card is actually good or not, uh, but it'll be interesting to see if I can pull one. Come on, this, this pack one doesn't want to open. All right, so we'll set this code card to the side. We'll do three and two, and let's take, all right, so let's go this time around. Let's see, so Meowth, Larvesta, Fletchling, Oshawott, Sneasel, another special charge. That's four special charges. We're good to go. We got a play set. Sheldon, uh, Fletchlinder, a Reverse Amoongus, and a Hydrogen, which is the Hollow instead of the Reverse. So we pulled a Hollow and a Reverse Hydrogen, which is pretty nice uh, for the collection. So we set these aside. All right, so let's see. Can we pull another EX that we have not seen? All right, that's the big question. Or a break that we haven't seen either. Or a regular Evatol, which, which could be pretty nice as well. But we'll do three and two. And let's take this again. All right, so there's Mareep, Mantine, Meowth, Larvesta, Fletchling, Hiploom, Alucha, Tangrowth, a Reverse Sheldon, and a Toxicroak. Toxicroak says, written all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks for your opponent's poison Pokemon and poison at 50. Flip a coin if it has your opponent's active Pokemon's not poison. If they are poison, they cannot hurt Toxicroak. I guess it kind of makes sense because I think Toxicroak is a poison Pokemon, so it shouldn't be hurt by it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I maybe that need to be corrected. But still, it's a really cool concept to follow along with the BGC as well as the TCG. All right, this pack is... Look how, look how I tore this pack. How, how did I do this? Look, look at that. What is going on here? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so let's open up this pack. Throw that down. Put that there. Three. And two. I got packs all over the floor right now. All right, so let's uh, let's keep on going. There's a Bergmite, Chimchar, Yanma, Mareep, Mantine, Skiploom, Alucha, Tangrowth, a Reverse Shelios, and a Jump Love with Fluffy Transport. Switch one of your opponent's bitch Pokemon with his or active. And Solar Step 20, this attack does 20 damage times never your remaining price cards. So early game, I guess it's good, but late game, it's bad. Uh, because you won't have that many remaining price cards. Alright, so let's open up another one. Alright, come on. We need to find another EX and or a break that we haven't seen. A full or Sycamore would be nice as well. Uh, can we find any of those cards? Three and two. And let's see what's going to happen. Alright, so there is a C-Dot. A Clauncher. Bergmite. Chimchar, Yanma, Lampet, Clink, or oh, Clang, sorry, uh, another Cat Titty Book Club, a Reverse Klefki, and an Armaldo. An Armaldo, there we go. Uh, once again, it belongs to that Pokemon that I thought wasn't a Pokemon. Um, sometimes you don't know them all. I don't, I don't know. I don't play the video games that much, so I really don't know all the Pokemon, unfortunately. Uh, so throw that to the side, put the code card right there. Three, and two, and let's see. What's going to happen in this pack? All right, so there's a Dino, uh, Litleo, Nosepass, Didot, uh, Clauncher, Lampet, Clang, Pogopuff, a Reverse Gast Gastrudon, and a Drudagon. All right, let's put those cards right there. Put this right here. The stack is getting pretty tall right now. All right, so let's open up another one, and let's see what happens. So we have three, six, seven, eight, I think ten packs left maybe. That's a rough guess. Uh, just looking at the packs right there. We'll put that to the side. Put that right there and do another three and two. And let's see what happens, please. Let me get a good card soon. All right, so Litwick, Hoppet, Dino, Litleo, Nosepass, Rapidash, Nuzleaf, Bravery Air, a Reverse Mankey, and a Volcarona, uh, which is another dual type we haven't seen. Shimmer scales 20, flip a coin if has your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. If tails, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So regardless, you're doing pretty good, pretty good effect. And Power Hurricane 120, discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. But since it is a fire type, you can blacksmith onto it, which is pretty nice. I kind of don't know why I had it off the screen. But since it's a fire type, you can blacksmith back onto it and use it again, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, too bad you can't use it with Volcania because Volcania only works for a basic fire Pokemon, uh, which is the, ups the, the bad part about Volcania. I wish Volcania was for all... Fire Pokemon and not just uh, basics. Whatever you still you can't you can't win them all. Uh, let's open another one. Come on, pack. Let's go. There we go. All right. So let's throw that down right here. Put a code card right there and let's try three and 
three and two, and let's see what do we get. All right, so we got a Rufflet, Ponytail, Meowth, Litwick, Hoppet, Rapidash, Nuzleaf, Bravery, a Reverse Clawitzer, and a Chandelure, which we haven't really seen yet. I haven't read this card yet, but once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one into your hand, discard the other card, and pass friends. It does 10 damage. This attack does 10 more damage for each supporter card in your discard pile. So not that really good of attack because you really don't play that many, uh, uh, what is it? You really don't play that many supporter cards. Hold on, we only got Claw Witzer real quick. We haven't seen this guy either. All right, so Claw Witzer, what's your turn before you attack? You may move a special energy card from your hand to one of your mega evolutions. So this lets you attach two, uh, special energies to your turn to your megas. I don't know why it's, it's like bent already, kind of. Uh, but once your turn, before you attack, you may, move, you may attach a special energy card from your hand to one of your mega evolutions. So that way you get two special energies in one turn. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if we could play that with somebody. Maybe like Primal Groudon. Um, maybe, I don't know. That's the only guy I can really think of, like putting putting strong energies on a Primal Groudon. But if they water type, so you might have to like Archies it out, then you're getting really strange. All right, so throw that there. there. We'll put a promo. That was actually a pretty good pack. Like, I think that was a double rare. All right, so put that right here. And let's see what's going to happen. Uh, there's a Joltik, Larvesta, Rufflet, Ponytoff, Meowth, uh, another Pokemon that I didn't know, Anorath, Need a Rhino, a Steelix Spirit Link, a Reverse Chimchar, and a Yawn Mega. Now, this Yawn Mega I do want to go over. It's a pretty cool card. And there's a break as well, which makes this card even more playable. Uh, so, this is Yawn Mega right here. All right, so Yawn Mega. It has Sonic Vision. If you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore all energy and the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks, which does work with the break. Now, the break does a solid 100, I think, for four energy. So once you have four cards in your hand, you can do this attack, uh, do the break attack for 100 damage. Uh, Assault Boom, 50. If your opponent's active Pokemon has a Pokemon tool attached to it, this attack does 70 more damage. But pair this with the break is where it does really shine, making your break hit for 100 damage for zero energy. It's really cool. The only fortunate thing is a Yon Mega Break is kind of like a Stage 2 because Yon Mega is a Stage 1. They have to evolve into a Break the following turn. So it's a, kind of a slow deck, but it might see some play later on. Uh, not right now. The format's way too fast for that card. All right. So there's an Oshawott, Ponyard, Tangela, Joltik, Larvesta, Anorath, oh, uh, Nino Rhino, another Steel Spirit. I think we pull like 100 of these. Oh, here we go. A Tile Flame Break. So another break that we have not seen. It has Flare Blitz. Okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. 150. Discard all Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. But it only needs two Fire Energy. So you, once again, you just block this onto it. And I think, like I said, I think combining this with Glade is going to be a really neat idea. Now, I know Glade needs a double color synergy. So it might not seem that much like synergy. But with the Glade, you can make sure you hit something, and you at least have a backup attacker, which is sometimes needed. But Flare Burst, 150 with a Muscle Band, 170, which is pretty cool. I think this card is going to be somewhat played uh, for kind of gimmicks, but here we go. Put that right there. And another Claw Witzer. So there we go. That's a pretty good pack. But there we go. Talonflame Break, which we have not seen. But combine this with a Talonflame, you're good to go if you can get it in your opening hand. Um... But you might play four of those and, like, four Glade and just hope that you pray uh, that you hit that. I guess you have to play with Shaman. And if you start with Shaman, you'll be really upset. Uh, so I'm not sure how the deck's going to work just up yet. All right, so C3 and 2. But I guess the other thing, too, is you might have to play the the basics as well. Because once you have Talonflame down, you can't put another Talonflame on, on play because it's your only one down. So I'm not sure how great that deck idea that I was talking about is actually going to work or not. We'll have to see. I'll have to play around with it for sure. Uh, let's keep on going. I'm talking too early about these cards. All right, so Fungus, Nidoran, Oshawott. Oh, there's a card peeking out. Ponyard, Tangela, uh, Fossil, a Flappy, a Marfano. Ooh, a Reverse Xerneas, and a Mega Steelix. Finally, we can see what this Steelix does. We've seen this Steelix so many times. We pulled three Steelix overall, and here is the Mega Steelix. It is a fighting and a steel type, metal type, whatever you call it. And it has the attack cannon axe for 160, but it needs five energies, a metal and four DC, uh, four color synergies. Maybe you can play this call to attach more energies to it. Either way, you can just play like, um, you can play 
Bronzong, and you can play Strong Energy on this guy, which is pretty cool. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, 160. But with the Strong Energy, you can combine this with the Fighting Stadium as well. Be, I think this card is going to be really, really cool to play. It seems like a lot, a lot of fun. He can do a ton of damage. He has 240 HP, which is a lot. You can Focus Sash him as well because he is a Fighting type. This is probably one of my favorite Megas printed in a long time time i think i can't think of another mega that i like really in love with just because it's it's still in fighting so you can you can you pair it up with bronzong as well as using the fighting abilities like the the fighting stadium strong energies uh focus ash which is really really cool and i do like this card a lot so i'm happy i pulled the mega scalix and we can finally show it off we have a billion links so don't worry we can evolve it so let's see three and two and let's see what do we get we also got a reverse xerneas which is cool as well all right so uh man time Clink, Mankey, Fungus, Nidoran, uh, another Fossil card, Flappy, Marfano, Reverse Dino, and a Spear Tomb. All right, so we'll put this right here. Hey, you're in the wrong stack, buddy. You go right here. Uh, put the Reverse right here and the regular hall, uh, the regular Ray right there. All right, so we're getting close. We're almost to the end. I promise. We got uh, the, the, the five packs left. Yep. So let's get this pack, and let's see what's going to happen. Open up for me. All right, so we got to open. Uh, throw that right there. Do three and two. And let's see, what do we get? All right, so we got a Meryl. We got a Shellos. Mantine. Clink. Mankey. Gardevoir Spirit Link. Do what? Klefki. A reverse Krogon and a, another uh, dual type, which we haven't seen, is a Bisharp, which is Steel and Dark. So there we go. That looks pretty cool. You get Dark Patch, which is pretty neat. Retaliate uh, 30 if any of your Pokemon are knocked out by their by the damage from opponent's attacks during his or her last turn. This attack does 60 more damage. We've seen this so many times with Druidagon and other Pokemon. And Mock Claw, which does 60. This attack's damage is affected by resistance. So we'll put that right there. He is a hollow. He looks pr like that's a pretty cool picture, first of all. That looks really, really nice. And like this, the Metal Steel dual typing looks really cool as well. So we'll pick up another pack. We got... What, three left here, fourth one in my hand. Hopefully, we can find another EX with the Shaw or another Break. Uh, once again, we're hoping for some Xerneas, some Evithals. But if we don't pull them, uh, don't worry. We are going to do a video about this set overall, and I'll tell you which cards I think are the best ones. So, we got Fletchling, Seedot, Jerfloon, Meryl, Jellos, another Gardevoir Spirit Link, Dewat, Klefki, oh, a uh, reverse Volcarona Voca uh, Dual Type. And a Hoopa. So that's the first, I think the first dual type that was a uh, reverse. Besides the Volcano X dual art, I mean, full, full art. I guess that counts as the reverse. I don't, maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, let's open another one. We have three left overall. And hope we can pull a Gardevoir. That'd be a really nice show off. A break as well, which would be cool, cool to see. But if not, we still have a pretty good pack. Like what? Four, five EXs and two breaks. And let's see what we get. So an Apom. Clauncher. Fletchling, Dot, Drifloon, another Fossil, uh, Zwellios, Drifloon, a Reverse Hoppip, and a Galvantula. I think we've already seen this tag. Uh, this card, this tag does 30 damage to two of your opponents, uh, two of your opponents Pokemon. Also apply Weakness and Resistance for Bench Pokemon. So that's interesting. Also apply Weakness and Resistance for Bench Pokemon. And since you're a dual type, you can do, uh, you can hit Shamans for 60s and then two shot him, which is pretty nice because you can hit the bench. And Electro Web 30, the Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. So Grass and uh, Grass and Lightning, which is pretty neat combination. I like, like I said before, I like all these dual types. They, all the cards look really cool how they split down the middle. I do appreciate Pokemon a lot for doing that. Uh, two more packs left, so one and two. Hopefully one of these have a full art Sycamore. That would be amazing. We've already pulled two full arts. I'm not sure how many usually come in a box. All right, but here are three and two. And let's see what happens. All right, so we got a Litleo, Sneasel, Yanma, Apom, Clauncher, another Fossil, a Zuelios, Jiplin, a Reverse Nidoking. King. Shout out to Kevin one more time. And a Gardevoir. So finally, we got a Gardevoir. All right, so let me put these cards up and we'll read, we'll read what Gardevoir EX does. So it has the attack. Uh, hold on, there we go. Oh, oh, are we good now? We're we good. Hold on, let's see. Uh, it has the attack Link Blast 30. If this Pokemon, if this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached to them, this attack does 70 more damage, so 100 total. And Lumio's Blade 120 discard energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, the bad thing about Standard with Fairy Pokemon is Aroma Teasy is getting rotated out. 
So you really don't have a way to manipulate your fair energy. It'll still be played in expanded. Uh, they did announce expanded, and that card is still going to be playable, but I'm pretty sure... Once uh, standard is updated, fairies is going to be really hard to play because you don't have a way to manipulate your fairy energies. Unless you play Golda Break, uh, that could be a card. I think Golda Break can move any energy, not just water energy, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know down below. But I think it does move any energy. So let's do three and two. So this is the last pack, and let's see what do we get out of this pack. Hopefully it's in the good. All right, so we get a Chimchar. Nose Pass. Lit Leo. Sneasel. Yanma, uh, Pokepuff, Fletchlinder, Skiploom, Reverse Williams, and a uh, Provo Pass, bruh. So no Floor Sycamore, uh, no Xerneas Break, no Evesol Break. Uh, we did pull, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 EXs, 2 Breaks, uh, 2 of the Xerneas, which is pretty cool. And if you watched all 40 minutes of this video, hold on, me, hold on one second, let me do something real quick. Um, so for, that's, that's packs we pulled. Once again, I say that we're missing cards like, uh, Xerneas Break, even Saw Break, and some of the other cards as well. But once I said, we're going to do a video about Steam Sage, cover it overall, and see what's going to happen. Um, what the? But here you go, guys. If you made it this far in the video, what I'll do is I'll put five of these cards out, five code cards. One, two, three, four, and five. So if you made it this far, you can have these five Steam Sage, whoever can type them in. I know it's far away, but we'll make it hard for y'all to do it. Uh, so there's five code cards if you want them. There you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy join Steam Sage. It is a lot of fun. I do love these dual types a lot. And uh, we're going to see what happens. What will happen with the set for sure. It's going to be interesting. I don't think it's going to be that played at Worlds because it's not uh, great. I think the supporter guards are going to be played more. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm tearing these up so y'all know that I'm not using them. Uh, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more booster boxes openings, let me know. I do have two breakpoint booster boxes I don't know what I'm doing just yet with. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.